Hi everybody and welcome to Once Upon a Scarf. This channel celebrates vintage scarves as hidden treasures in art and fashion history. It's also all about tips, tricks, and advice on finding wonderful examples at crazy low prices. Today we're doing a close-up of an ultra-old Chanel and how what looks like a fake is actually a stunning survivor from Coco's own time as head of house. When I first saw this on eBay, priced to sell at under $100, my impression was, okay, that's just weird. It doesn't look like a typical Chanel. This feeling is actually good when it comes to vintage scarves. It's a sign you may be onto something special. Trust it as a guide to look closer. Let's do that right now. The scarf is attractive, but simple. Was Chanel ever simple? Once upon a time, it was her hallmark. This is a square of fine silk georgette, meaning a stretchy, crinkly, transparent weave with a slightly rough feel. This was a deluxe fabric in the early half of the 20th century, in part because it was so challenging to make and so challenging to work. There's a painstakingly narrow and tight hand-sewn hem. As for the pattern, we see rays emanating from one corner, raspberry pink and navy. With a very close look, we see these rays have an irregular border, as though they were hand-painted. In two corners are the classic CC back-to-back -back logo, but in a word, they're wonky. The intersections are crude squares. The ends of the C's don't match. Again, they look hand-painted and to our eyes, fake. The final bit of strangeness is this logo. This is not the clean, crisp, assertive bit of branding we've come to expect from major design houses. It's tentative, incomplete, and it almost looks like it was stenciled on. So here's where a scarf hunter starts doing detective work, and the internet makes it simple, or at least a lot simpler than it used to be. Certain museums, like the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York and the Victoria and Albert in London, have fantastic online costume collections. Keyword around and you can sometimes find curated, authenticated examples of what you might find out in the wild. Lo and behold, the Met holds a handful of similar scarves from Chanel, all of them showing this wonky logo. It's just what the house did when printing on stretchy fabric was a tricky business. Sidebar. We are so used to fakes in the luxury world that it's made us wary where we shouldn't be with the really old stuff. Counterfeiting scarves back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s was practically unheard of. I'll show a similar kind of false alarm with some very old Christian Dior scarves in a future episode. So now, back to this one. Unfortunately, there's just not enough evidence to date it. It could come from the 30s, when Chanel was going full bore in Paris, or the 50s, when she revived the house and staged her grand comeback. What we can say is the pink and navy is iconic Chanel for a tragic reason. These are the exact colors of the official Chanel replica suit Jackie Kennedy wore on the day of her husband's assassination. That suit gets an entire Wikipedia page all to itself. And this story is incredible. I'll link to it in the show notes. On the brighter side, this scarf is timeless as wearable today as it was when it was first produced however many decades ago. In fact, Coco Chanel herself might have worn it. Did she? I'll leave that to your imagination. And that's today's scarf story. Thanks so much for watching. Please hit the usual buttons if you'd like to see more.